So um, after finding Croatia's first and only fair trade uh, shop and cafe online, um, I got off the train uh, at Zagreb on the way to Hooper um, uh, and had a look and, and see if I could find it. So tell us, how long has this cafe been here? Yeah, this cafe is here for about a year and two months. Uh, in the beginning we had a lot of problems because uh, the cafe is non-smoking and in Croatia it's really something that turns people away and it's uh, not on the streets. You have to come in uh, in the backyard to find it. But uh, we managed to have a lot, a lot of fans for now who are people who want to make a difference. Uh, we do many... Um, we have agreements with uh, organizations that uh, set people away for volunteering all around the world. We have people who have yoga classes here, shiatsu treatments, uh, people who made their own stuff and who want to um, just to know to other people to know for them. So we give him uh, give them space that we can uh, that where can it. Uh, they go with their stuff for people to see them or buy them. Uh, we have a lot of concerts, from jazz to rock, uh, people that sing. For example, we had uh, one mix, interesting, from Bosnian. Uh, yeah, Bosnian type of music that is really, really old, uh, with a mix of jazz and the music from, uh, I think it was Brazil. So we have uh, a lot of different cultures, but they all merge here and then you have a living room with a lot of people who are different for many things, but who have uh, the one thing that wants them. And that one thing is, uh, it, it doesn't make any difference to me if you're different than me. It, uh, it's just, you know, I want to know you. I want to see the things that you know and that I don't know. And that, that's one of the reasons that people want to come here and to learn more about Africa to go. I, I, I work a lot now with uh, English teachers and do you think that um, things could be done in, in Croatian schools in, in English lessons to get young people interested in fair trade? Well, uh, I think it, it would make a difference because uh, kids today uh, they have many uh, information coming around them from uh, many directions and they really don't can uh, they, they can see the right ones let me put it that way but teachers are the ones who can uh, uh, point out some relevant things and say okay kids just a second you don't have uh, your iPad okay I can realize that it's a bad situation for you but think of the kids who play with just a second, we have it here, yeah, I don't, uh, it's a um, uh, football, oh, it's here. In Africa, there are kids who play football with this kind of ball. It's made from the banana leaves. Fantastic. And they're happy with, with what they have, you know, and uh, despite all of... Um, bad situation that they're living in, uh, they can find a way to, you know, solve their problems with, uh, with hope, with uh, faith.
you know, and uh, they do really, really nice stuff, but they don't have uh, a way to sell them, because there are not many people who are going to go to Uganda and just, oh yeah, I'm going to buy something. So uh, we made uh, a shop, we opened a shop that um, uh, gives them an opportunity to sell their stuff to people uh, who want to help them, who want to, I don't know, uh, learn about them and to, you know, get a little more into how other people are living on the and other how, side. And how was it that your sister started with Uganda? Uh, she started there because uh, for many years, by now, uh, she was really into Africa and all of those stuff and she heard of uh, Mirella Brenke. Right. Mirella Brenke that uh, she made an organization in Uganda for women who made uh, jewelry uh, out of paper. And it, it's really nice because on the first, these are some of the necklaces, and they're made from paper. Uh, when you have them in your hand, you wouldn't say that they're made from paper. And they're really uh, low weight. Uh -huh. And we have, uh, there are a lot of colors and stuff, and the, their motto, uh, they're called Beat by Beat. It's that organization. Beat by Beat, because, you know, it's like a. Uh, and yeah, their motto is uh, where their colors uh, help them, no, where their colors change their lives. I mean, that up there, the, uh, this poster that you've got here, yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, Fantastic thing, you know, to, to work with that with with children in schools, couldn't you? You know, and then in the English lesson, you know, they can put in the words. Yeah, yeah and be... it will be even for uh, small kids. Yes. I mean, yes. why why should uh, adults only yeah. learn about yeah. the problems and yeah. about the opportunities? Yeah. And the the fair trade logo. Uh, do do you use that? Uh, yeah. No, we we don't use it uh, officially because uh -huh. uh, for that uh, you should have uh, your country uh -huh. should have um, a license. I mean, she should be uh, a member uh -huh. of the Fair Trade Foundation. Uh -huh. But the problem is that Croatia doesn't, uh, in the moment, as a government, as a country, doesn't mm -hmm. have any interest in fair trade. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with doing something about it, like projects, uh, or maybe, I don't know, sending people somewhere to uh, to do research, maybe about it or something, mm -hmm. that, that um, there simply isn't any, any interest in anything like that in our country, and it's really a problem, because if a country doesn't uh, acknowledge something, then well, why should people in that country believe it, you know, what I'm trying to say, and the country should be the first who should say, you know, okay, people, this is something uh, that's worth of our time, of people, people should know it. It shouldn't be something that some of them do know, some of them doesn't. It should be something that all uh, aware of that, and that we really can help them. It's not, it's not something you don't have to send a uh, hundred dollars monthly to some kid in Africa. You can just buy a necklace, or you can. Uh, drink a cup of coffee and you can buy something from them. And I mean if all schools, if that was in all schools and it was on the walls in all schools and teachers worked with that, then then young people would get to know about it, wouldn't they? And they would uh, realize that uh, it, it really is a problem. It's yeah. not because if you don't have any of, uh, I mean it doesn't uh, just concern Africa. All the poor countries, if you don't have it around, you know that it exists, but it's something like a fairy tale to you, more than in a real situation. But if you have it right, right in front of you, something that they made, mm -hmm. pictures, you see that, mm -hmm. oh my god, they really do exist, they really are in that, um, I don't know, bad situations, but look at them, they're smiling. You, you can see uh, any picture of them that they're, you know, like, uh, they're all, whoa, yeah, and they're all welcoming to anyone. Yeah, we're trying to uh, raise conscience about it. Yeah. In Zagreb, in Croatia, in uh, this part of Europe, because we are uh, the only store. This is the only, yes, the in, only in this, fair trade in this part of cafe Europe. in Croatia. Yeah, in Croatia, is. In Croatia is the first and the only one. The first and the only one. 
and uh, in this part of Europe mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. In Slovenia, they opened a few months, yeah. I think, ago, or maybe Lugan. a little bit more. Lugan. Yes. So yeah, you're yeah, going to have a look at the know. shop? Yes, we should. The shop. Yeah, we and uh, Nela is going to tell us a bit about the different things here. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the Maasai bracelets. They're made by Maasai tribe from Kenya. This is a letter from cow and uh, these are uh, little glass um, beads. They're made by them by their own traditional way and they're doing that for about a couple of hundred years for now. And this is a picture of a traditional jewelry made mm -hmm. by Maasai women. You can see that uh, they are uh, modified for us. Mm -hmm. I, uh, doubt that someone would, you know, wear something like this. So we have a lot of uh, colors, a lot of motives, and uh, colors are really um, important for them because uh, they is their own way of expression. For example, uh, orange. You hear the explanations. Orange is for hospitality, because uh, orange is the color of the mm, milk bottles that they give to people who come to their home, for example. Uh, we have a little angel that is also made uh, from a banana tree. So we have a lot of things that are made, for example, from the, this banana tree, uh, leaves or some other stuff, and you can see the this little cute thingy that is also made from banana leaves. This is, for example, uh, also made from banana leaves. <laughs> and these are people uh, in their, you know, regular things that they do uh, in the day out there. And it is used uh, something like dream catcher, but it's used not to... Um, not to scare negative vibrations away, but to uh, emerge positive. Mm -hmm. So it's for like good vibrations in in space that you're living in. So these are the different things that people do yes. during the. So, for example, what, what are the different things? Yeah. Uh, well, this could be uh, someone that um, does. Uh, some agricultural agriculture uh -huh. uh -huh. things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is uh, an example of their uh, how you call it? We call it serp. Ah, oh, um, scythe. Yes, cutting, yes, cutting yes. the corn. Yes, that. Cutting the corn. Uh, yes. This one, I really don't know what it is. Uh -huh. uh, I suppose that uh, when you're getting out of a shower, uh -huh. and then you just put, you know, your towel like that. Right, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> and uh, this is the part of a uh, traditional uh, dance, like uh, like an instrument. Uh -huh. So this one is caught dancing, right. mm -hmm. and this one is carrying stuff. Uh -huh. And this is all from banana leaves. Yes. Yeah. The whole thing. Uh, they use metal uh -huh. or stuff uh -huh. too, but uh, okay. the figures mm -hmm. are made mm -hmm. from banana leaves, and this. Also, uh -huh. it's wonderful, isn't it? And the the name Muzungu. What, uh, what does that mean? Muzungu uh, means uh, white explorer. Uh -huh. uh, it depends uh, on which part of Africa, uh -huh. but it mostly means uh, the one who walks, who travels, and knows a lot. Right. That's the one meaning. Uh, second meaning is uh, white person, but uh -huh. the, when, the first time that Muzungu was used as uh, as a word uh -huh. was when the first uh, explorers white came to Africa. Right.